hello in this tutorial we are going to find out cut length of diamond stirrup okay in a pier system mean feet and the inches so let's get started first of all this is basically the cross section where our column cross section is 12 inch by 12 inch okay it could be column or beam as well okay and uh, the concrete cover we are using over here is 1.5 inch okay let's uh, see the given data over here we have a is equal to 12 inch this one and b is equal to 12 inch this one and concrete cover is 1.5 inch and die of steel that we are using for this it could be for external and the internal this is not internal basically this diamond stirrup is at the bottom of this stirrup at the bottom of this stirrup this is not inside this stirrup okay so remember this one this is at the bottom with no spacing okay so die of stirrup is number three and the hook length is we are going to take as 10d okay so this is basically the given data now let's check the formula in order to find out the cut length of this diamond stirrup formula is h into 4 plus we have hook length okay we have two hooks over here and minus bend deduction so what is this h h is basically when we will divide this diamond stirrup okay into four sides okay this side this side this side okay so basically these sides okay this this side this side is basically h okay so we need to find out what these sides okay so h multiply by we have all of these sides are same multiply by 4 plus we have two hooks over here for 135 degree minus we need to do the bend deductions we have this bend this bend we have this bend and we have two bends over here as well okay so this is basically the formula h into 4 plus hook length minus pen detection now in order to find out h this h what we need to do is we need to use here what pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem okay so pythagoras theorem is what h is equal to basically when we will convert this diamond stirrup into four parts it will be converted into four right angle triangle this one number two number three number four these all are same okay so we will find out only one side multiply by four okay in order to find out all of these so this h will be equal to x square plus y square let's take this triangle okay x square plus y square under root okay this is what the pythagoras theorem now what is this x and what is this y where x is equal to this x will be equal to a by 2 this is basically a right from this position up till here when we will deduct the concrete cover at both ends it will give us a value of small a small a divided by 2 will give us what will give us x and y will be equal to b by 2 okay this is the value right from this position up till this position we have b and b divided by 2 will give us what y okay so hope you understand this now in order to find out this a what we need to do is from the large a we need to deduct a concrete cover from the both ends this is all okay and from b we will do the same from the large b we will deduct concrete cover from the both ends and hook length we have 2 into 10d okay 10d is the hook length we have two hooks over here so 2 into 10d okay now next to it we have five bends over here three for 90 degree this bend 90 degree this bend 90 degree this bend 90 degree so we have three bends for 90 degree and we have two again bends over here okay you can see for these hooks we have these as 135 degree remember this one so we have total of five this is below okay from this okay here it is written so you cannot see over here because uh, this is below so we have two bends as 135 degree as well remember this okay now let's move and uh, find out the solution over here we have we uh, check the formula how we can find out x y and h okay so we have look all of this now in order to find out small a from the large we will detect concrete cover and the value will be 9 inch okay and for b we will detect a concrete cover from the both ends in order to find out small b okay so this is a this is b now in order to find out x what we will do as we did before x we will have a by 2 okay so a by 2 mean 9 by 2 4.5 inch and for y it will be equal to b by 2 so b by 2 mean 4.5 inch okay so we have find out this base we have find out this perpendicular as well 
okay so in order to find out this hypotenuse you can consider this as a right angle triangle as well what we will do we'll put it in pythagoras theorem h is equal to this h is equal to x square plus y square under root okay and it will give us the value of h as 6.36 so this is one side let's put it into the formula in order to find out all of this so 6.36 is the value of 1 h multiplied by we have 4 h okay plus we have 2 into 10 into d okay for the hooks 2 hooks minus we need to do the bend directions okay 3 bends for 2d mean 90 degree and 2 bends for 3d mean 135 degree okay so i have already explained the bend directions in our previous tutorial you can watch that as well if you have any kind of confusion so what we will do we will add both of these values and from this value okay we will detect these bend directions okay and it will give us the total value uh, the total cut length 28.44 inch or you can say it as 2.37 feet okay so this is how we can find out cut length of diamond stirrup hope you really understand the session i'll see you in the next